Okay, so for this uh, solution on this mon uh, monster maze thing here, what you need to do is first of all, let's let's make sure we understand what's going on. Is we got this one resistor that's four ohms, okay, and then all the batteries are four volts. So this battery here is going to be four volts. This one here is four volts. This one here is four volts. This one here is four. They're all four. All right, and so remember the long side of the battery is considered to be a positive voltage, and then the short side of the battery is considered to be the negative voltage. All right, so in the problem, it kind of states something about how you should be able to do a real simple kind of mental calculation. It shouldn't be anything complicated. And so the idea is that what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at this resistor and I want to find a pathway of least resistance that I could go through to come back to here. And so you can do that if you choose the right route out of this resistor. So I'm going to start here at the bottom end and I'm going to go straight down over to, th over to this branch, go up through this battery here so that I'm going to gain four volts there because I'm going in the pathway the current normally goes. It's like it's pushing the current up. So I gain four volts over to here. I gain another four volts. So I'm up to eight. Over to here, down, over. I'm gaining yet another four volts. So that's 12 volts. I'm going to go all the way over here to this one. But this time I go down through this battery in the opposite direction so I actually lose voltage there so I'm back down to 8 volts back over here and then back through this resistor R and so through this pathway of least resistance I've only got 8 total volts of uh, potential difference 4, 4, 4, minus 4 so that's 8, 8 total and then I've got a resistance of 4 ohms and so the current is going to be I is equal to V over R, so 8 divided by 4, which gives you 2 amps. And I believe that was the solution. Yeah, 2 amps right there. And so that's kind of the idea. And there are other solutions. You could definitely do other solutions. But all in these kind of maze kind of problems, it's always a, it's a, it's always a find the path of least resistance kind of problem. So... Yeah, I could have chosen any. I could have chosen any path. I mean, technically, if I'd have done like Kirchhoff's voltage law for every little loop and did this big, huge, complicated calculation, I would have still calculated two amps right there. And so that's just kind of one of these, kind of these weird, weird mental problems that you need to just kind of have seen done once or twice, and then you realize that that's a that's the easiest solution. So I hope that helps. Uh, email me if you still have a question. Thanks.